Hi, I'm Darren Norris. I'm a lecturer at the Federal University of Amapá, which is based in Brazil. Our research investigates how giant and neotropical otters that live in the same area, which is St. Patrick, avoid competing for resources. So our study took place along 20 kilometers of rivers that flow along protected areas and we use camera traps to monitor the den activity of both species. Um, so that these dens are used for um, resting um, and where they usually sleep at night. We expected that as the neotropical otters are smaller, they should could be more active at night to avoid competition with the giant otters. Um, but we actually found the opposite. It seems that giant otters use are a more active nocturnal during the night, whereas the neotropical otters seem to be more active during the day. Um, so at the end of this, we hypothesize that studies that show results where neotropical otters, whether they're um are more nocturnal this activity of neotropical otters being more active at night could actually be in part be due to the lack of giant otters in the other areas so this was the um uh highlight for us was just basically because we was the first study to show um results from both species in the same area We'd like to see this um, same sort of studies in other areas where both species occur and then um, take home message will be that basically we still have so much to learn about these rare and endangered species and this research is increasingly important due to the um, number and to the increasing amount of human threats for these animals this, this was a short study it was only three months and we were able to generate new scientific knowledge imagine what would happen in other areas that if they were able to repeat similar studies so that's i think what we'd like to see is that this could be used as a um, inspiration for others to repeat in other areas there's another key finding was that the both species actually use can use the same den, which was really interesting. Um, and this has some implications for the monitoring of species because dens can be used to monitor um, the the present as an indirect sign for the presence of these species, but as both species can use the same den, um, it's important that studies that using these den counts actually um, also include complementary techniques and measures to ensure that the results are robust.